Thank you, Haley. Okay, so this isn't just for the foodies this morning. Get that out of here, because it's for everyone who loves food. We all love food, right? And it's the worst when you hear that your favorite food, maybe that you eat every day, is bad for you. Maybe you thought it was healthy, maybe it still is. So this is Val, you've seen her before. She just started her own company, in fact, called No Diet Dietitian. She was with Whole Health Nutrition, now she is flying solo, and we are so happy for you. Thank you, it's so very exciting. First, tell us how it's going with this new company. It's going fantastic. So um, I have a very personalized approach with people. Uh, it's figuring out what works for you and your lifestyle. Yeah. And, um, it's, I, I real, really feel blessed that I have the opportunity to help so many people. Congratulations. <laughs> so how long has it been on your own? Fresh off the press. It's like wow. really like brand brand new. <laughs> you heard it here. You heard it here first. Okay, so what are we talking about today? We're talking about busting up some myths, yes. right? Foods that are bad, that are actually good. All so we're stuff. going to be talking about eggs right off the bat. I've been getting a lot of questions after the CNN uh, article was published saying like, whoops, maybe we should not eat eggs. Big myth. Big, big myth. I eat uh, them every morning. So the reason that it's not true is because they really didn't show the full study. The study actually shows that eggs are fine for us in moderation, one to two eggs every day, like Megan. Um, the reason that they're good for us is that they're a great source of protein. Uh, the egg whites are actually considered the standard reference protein. Look we have that. to see this because so this you is have so my beautiful. favorite way to eat it. Is. Val just made this this morning, and what is this, Val? It's called shakshuka. Okay. So it's a Middle Eastern egg dish and a really delicious gar garlicky Gorgeous. onion uh, tomato sauce, and then we just got two eggs on top. It's delicious. And you made this from scratch. Uh, this one, yes, but okay. you can actually buy a starter kit, kit in the Trader Joe's freezer aisle and it's delicious as well. Perfect. Um, Perfect. But the reason that we want eggs for breakfast is it revs our metabolism because they've got awesome sources of protein. Yes. And then about the yolk. So we can. This is very eat serious. The yolk. <laughs> no, because the, there's a lot of confusion. There is. So the yolk's a great source of carotenoids, so okay. it's really important for our brain health, for our skin, and also for our eyes. Um, also, if you're buying the omega-3 eggs, that's where the omega-3 lives. Right. And we need that for our brain and for our heart health. Yeah, there are a lot of people who think that the, the yolk is bad. You hear a lot of people say, you know, I never eat the yolk, I just eat the egg white. So I think that's affirmation. Yeah, that eat was, the whole that was in the people. 70s. We have more better research now. We know that eating cholesterol doesn't mean that we're going to have high cholesterol levels. We need cholesterol in our body for all of our hormones, for bile, which is important for digestion. Um, we need it for a lot of our of our body just to work. Yeah. So you made me do this. You made me bring, you've probably seen this by the way on the local 44 Morning Brew because I can't hide it behind my computer ever. This is my egg cooker. I make my two eggs in this every morning. You pop it in the microwave and you're good to go. It's Easy. like the easiest thing ever. Easy, fast, so great source of protein. So yes, If you are running eggs. out the door, just pop them in there and you're good. Yeah. We're talking about too, the idea of starting a diet as you kind of are getting ready for summer. And you're here to tell us that you should not do that. So the, I, a lot of the times you hear like, okay, I have to get my beach body. Um, I have to go on a cleanse or I have to start a diet. That's not what we need to do to maintain health and get our body where we want it to be. So diets actually result in weight regain. So maybe we'll lose a short amount, a small amount of weight, but two years later when we're looking at long-term or even a few months later, we're going to gain weight. The reason that that happens is that actually if we reduce down our calories by a lot, we're going to be slowing down our metabolism. Okay. And then our bodies, we're programmed to survive. So what would happens is, is that then we start slowing down our metabolism, our body adju adju adjusts, and then when we start eating more food, we gain weight. So what should you do instead? So small changes have huge results. Right. So one thing that we can have is we can start our morning with a really delicious protein dense balanced breakfast. Um, we can add more water, we can sleep more. These are all really good ways to boost our metabolism um, rather than cutting out a food group or feeling bad. The restriction and shame leads us to overeating and changes our brain chemistry, which makes foods just not as satisfying. So enjoy your food, but start with small changes because those will, that are, that will come into your lifestyle. Great. So good. Thank you. I love all of this. <laughs> Can people find information yet about your new company? Do you have a yes, website yet? I do have a website. It's nodietdietitian.com. Um, on Instagram, I'm nodiet.dietitian. Um, <laughs> if you have any questions, shoot me. I'm, it's, my, it's my absolute pleasure. Oh, thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you. It's a huge accomplishment. Thank you. This will all be on our website too, mychamplainevalley.com. We love having you. I'm excited to be here. She'll be back. <laughs> we'll be right back. Bye.